Businesses in the tourism industry, like hotels and museums, are slowly reopening, but things will look different for them this summer amid the pandemic. 41 Action News reporter Emma James shows us how they're planning to navigate this difficult time. The president here at the Negro League Baseball Museum says he's not expecting too many out-of-state visitors this year, but he hopes it gives people who live in the KC Metro a chance to be a tourist in their own city. I can tell you now, our all-star team missed the folks. Yeah, they excited. President you know, Bob Kendrick to... says the museum reopens June 16th. He's asking folks purchase tickets and reserve time slots online. The museum will modify its hours, increase cleaning, and close its grandstand theater. Kendrick says the pandemic halted some of the museum's 30th anniversary plans, but there will be plenty of time for celebration in 2021. But in the meantime, it's just about trying to make sure that we can continue to tread water, bring some revenue back into our operations, bring some life back into this museum. I Kendrick say, also know. serves on the board of Visit KC. He says a lot rides on the tourism industry, so it's crucial to find a way to get people out and about. One traveler from Colorado tells us she's in Kansas City for work, staying at the Crossroads Hotel, which just opened its guest rooms. And they've put out a lot of communication on everything that they're doing, so I'm trusting in their word. General Manager Jeff Conrad says the hotel is increasing cleaning efforts, screening its employees, and only taking reservations for its rooftop restaurant, which opens Friday evening. You know, the first guests I checked in yesterday were incredibly excited and, and so supportive to be here. Um, so it's just a level of excitement that we can't wait, and we can't wait to have our first guests up into the space uh, later today. In Kansas City, Emma James, 41 Action News.